on, what up, what up? Rise and shine, y'all. So, uh huh? Another day. Mm hmm. Oh, man. You know what that is? Look at this. That rock in the grave. You see that? Growing out the bed, doing my one, two. You know what I'm saying? See, you know, get the full joint going. I don't know. I might get on my die. I don't know. I might take it black again. I don't know. But, you know, just, you know, felt like I want to rock the bed, bring the bed in for the winter time. But anyway, anyway, let's get to the regular program that I came to talk to y'all about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Trump is in office. Your boy Trump is in office, and he's back. Oh, man, he's back. Listen, everybody who might be mad, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? You got to accept it. The win like you accept the, you got to accept the loss like you accept the win. You know what I mean? All you got to do now is just get out there, get on your grind, and try to make things happen. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Really, your life don't change no matter who gets in office. It's about it's about what you're doing anyway. You know what I mean? Like Kamala, you know what I'm saying? Or if Trump get in office, when Trump get in office, like, they going to get in there and say, hey, go this, hey, go that. You still may have to get out there and do your one, two, and hustle. And still put some effort and you know what I mean? Put some sweat equity or whatever into whatever you got to do to get that money. So, you know, it still don't mean that, you know, it's a good or bad thing. It's just, you know, right now, but I ain't going to be honest with you right now. Listen, man, people, who, those who are in this financial world and know about the stocks and stuff, y'all know right now when y'all woke up, them stocks, oh, that is looking beautiful. It done went up. Mm, mm, mm. Bitcoin done went up. Anything U.S. Ford done stocks don't. Listen, everybody done went up. So listen, if you into the world right now, Ford, Ford stocks right now. If you right now, when I recorded this, right now, Ford stocks is at eleven dollars and ten cents. You know what I'm saying? So you better better see what's up, y'all. Get up in that. You know what I mean? But you know, might be going up by the time this video drop. The time you see this, but um. That's just one little benefit you see, man. Our day traders, people who out there trading during the day, throw a couple thousand on that john. You know what I mean? Make maybe a couple, maybe make a thousand or two back before the day's out. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's one of the benefits of this guy getting in office. You know, it's a little side money that can come about. And you know, because I guarantee you, if Kamala, she was in there, stocks probably have went down or it probably have stayed the same. And we don't, you know what I mean? People right now, those people that's out there that's investing in these stocks and things right now is making a couple dollars. I guarantee you, if she was dead, it probably they wouldn't have made this type of um increase in in the um stock market. It wouldn't have been this big right now. But um, it is what it is, you know. I'm not, you know, not happy or sad. You know, I don't, you know, it wouldn't have made me no difference who would have won, you know, because you know I'm a survivor. I'm gonna do what I gotta do regardless, man. My family, you know, what I'm saying. Shout out to La La. You know, we had to do what we got to do regardless to make sure, you know, we good. Our house is good. Our kids is good and stuff. So, you know, we're going to survive regardless. But, um, you know, for those who was wishing for Kamala, you know, get up in there for whatever she would have brought to the table, you know, hopefully Trump, you know, you can look at some things that Trump, whatever policies Trump bring to the table that can help you out. And, you know, you know, look forward to push you forward in your life. You know, I know, you know, financially as far as the economy if they stick to the words and the things that they saying it may it should be a little better within the next four years by the time he get up out of here should be a little bit more better you know you can't be mad at him a little change why not you know because from what i'm hearing you know and i'm seeing in the streets right now to be honest with you the way it is economy right now people is really you know having a hard time out here and you know not really you know be able to get out there and do they want to and afford certain things. So, you know, I'm seeing it and I hear it and whatnot. So I understand why, why I go through another four years of that. Why? You know, when you can say, you know, let's try a little change and stuff. And plus, you know, a lot of times, you know, you hear the talk, you know, you really wasn't hearing their policies on their side like that. You wasn't really hearing what they really, what they was really saying for the people. And for what we wanted, you know, for what the people that I feel that they wanted. A lot of people want to make sure their money was right. You know what I mean? Make sure the finances was good. And to make sure that they was protected. Meaning, you know, if it's the border or, you know, we also mean in finances. We also got to remember finances also mean the Americans that the Americans that's here. That's, that's not that's not really able to get a certain gig or something because a certain 
foreigner may have gotten that job at a lower rate. And now this person is seeing like, oh, I'm, I live here, but I can't get that job or I can't get this gig because of this search, this situation or that. You know, those those situations happen and people got to look at those things. So I understand, though, I stand all I understand both sides. And you got the, the foreigners that come over, they look for they want to look for a better way, a better way of living and stuff like that. But you got to understand this is somebody's land and. Like they say, we can't, we won't be able to go to someone else's home and set up shop. We have to go through a whole bunch of rules and stipulations ourselves and won't be able to just set up shop in anywhere, you know, like that. So you gotta, we gotta look at that also and deal with that. But I mean, hey, that's what people was looking for. And we wasn't really hearing that from Kamala and them like that. It was more, and you know, Angle, it was more on the bash and Trump and what Trump did and what Trump said, and he's a criminal, and he's that, he's this. I understand all that, you know what I'm saying? A dude could do all that, but then again, you think about it, some of his policies is something that some of us as Democrats, no matter what side of the aisle you lean on, you kind of was like, yo, it's right. You know, I feel that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I kind of feel that, but yeah, he's saying what he's saying, but his policies and what he's saying, I kind of feel that, I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's kind of right what he's saying. You know what I mean? But maybe he's saying it a little wrong, the way he's saying it, the way he's coming about it. But I mean, the overall picture of what he's saying, I mean, you know, you kind of believe in it. And that's how I'd be with some of the, you know what I mean, with that, with the with the Trump situation. So when you look at that, you got to sit there and say to yourself, yeah, listen, we can come to, come to agree, we can agree to disagree on certain things. But I also look at that, I look at it like a, like a, a let's say like a team. You know what I mean? You you got your you got your favorite football team and you on this team, but you you know, you hear about this great wide receiver or this great quarterback that's doing this one too, but you hear behind the scenes he may be a little racist or he may be a bigot, he may be this way, he may handle things a certain way that some people may not like, but he's nice. He do what he do what he gotta do on the field. When it comes to playing on that field, he do what he got to do. You know, are you going to really sit there and say, you know what I mean? You know what? I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. If somebody like that come on my team and I'm sitting there saying, yo, I don't like him, his personal or off the court antics too much. And sometimes he come across a little crazy, but for my team, he on that field, he winning. He making us win as that team. And you look at America as United States, you know, America, United States is a team. You know, so what that that player that's playing our head coach may be a certain way, but he's making the right plays to let us win, to help us win. So, yeah, I don't like him on the side. We don't talk off the court, this, that, and the third, but when we on the court and he throw the plays out or he say what he got to say, it kind of is for us, for the America, for American people, who am I going against it? Yeah, he may say it a certain way that you may, oh, man, he shouldn't have said it that way. But what he's saying is what you believe in and what you feel is right. So really, who are we to sit there and say, yo, I don't want that play on my team? Plus, look, he got all the votes. People voted for him. You know, he came at a nice price. People there, you know, so now he's going to come in and play. He's going to play for the United States. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's going to be the coach, the draft, or whatever. He's going to be the coach. You know, for the United States, and he gonna come there, and he gonna make these plays, and hopefully that you know it, it, it work out for us and stuff like that. But right now, you know, as far as the economy, as far as the growth on that, I see it, man. I mean, stocks is going up, and I guarantee you, as soon as you go to the banks, does not mean the APRs and home rates gonna start going down. It's gonna start looking real good out there because you know, I guess they know Trump will come in and not gonna play with them people out there. That's one thing we say. Yo, we all say, yo, we want somebody to fight for us and hold us down. So when we hear Trump talking to, to the Putins or them, them China, you know what I mean, all them guys of the world and saying, yo, if y'all do this, y'all do that to us, I'm coming after you. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You be like, yeah, yeah, talk to him like that, Trump. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't let him have it. But then on the next breath, when he say, yo, I don't want certain people here or he say people are taking jobs. You say, yo, oh man, come on. You be like, you see, you gotta, you know, 
It's a give and take, you know what I'm saying? A person, you ain't going to agree with 100% what a person doing and saying. But as long as they do have some policies and things that you do agree with amongst the craziness that they do, you know, the craziness that he is about, you know, as long as that's there, hey, who are we to sit there and say, you know what, I can't, I'm going to go against it even though he's in office now. I'm going to still, you know, rebel against him. I don't care. I'm going to do that or not. Nah, there's nothing you can do now. It's accepted. All you can do is try to do what you got to do to make your life better in his regime while he running and doing his one-two. And whatever policies and rules he implement, just try to see how it work in your life. How it could work better in your, your situation. You know what I mean? That's all it is. And for me, like I said, I ain't a, what side ain't a, who win or lose, you know? You know, it's about just making sure that my life and my foundation is good. That's why a lot of people voted for Trump. You know what I mean? I didn't vote for him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo, it is what it is. I'll be honest with you. But I understand why a lot of people did. You know what I'm saying? Because they want, you know, they thinking about their life. You know what I mean? Their pockets, how the economy is, and things like that. And all the people do is they remember the last thing you did for them, right? They don't really remember, you know, certain things like, oh, oh, how was it? We remember um, Harrison. Okay, what she did for her? Oh, it's been bad. What was the last thing Trump did for her? Oh, they think that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, he said some craziness, but when he was in office, those four years was kind of cool. Dude was making a couple of dollars. People, more people start learning about being independent. A lot of entrepreneurs came out of that, started finding out how to do their taxes and doing they want to on that. Find out, you know, because he came through that pipeline and started doing the things and showing things. But while his ways, I was like, oh, well, we could do that too if he did it. So, I mean, let's be honest. You do think about that, and they think about the little dollars they was getting when he was in office with all the stuff, even though he didn't give it. It came from Congress and all that stuff. They had to prove it, as people should know and find out. But it ain't about, you know, you can sit there and and and, and get your, your, if you're super, if you're in a company and stuff, and, and your manager come and tell you, yo, we giving out checks, yo, we giving out, you know, they giving out bonuses. You don't really care where the bonus coming from, as long as you getting the bonus. <laughs> you don't really sit to say, "Oh, yo, yeah, the bonus is coming from." Or well, you gonna say, is, "When I was at this job, I, I was getting bonuses. I was at this job, and when that person was, well, when that person, that VP was there, or that CEO was there, we was getting bonuses. Put it that way. You know what I mean? So, if they don't change, if you got a company." And they change CEOs, and this CEO come in, and he start talking about, nah, we ain't giving no um no um no incentives this year. We ain't giving out no incentives. I don't care if you if you meet optimum level or whatever. Ain't nothing going on this year. We ain't giving out no incentives because we we trying to make back from what they try to so called say they lost from the last year, the previous fiscal year, and all that. But it don't be that. But then three years later, so some years, years the, the, the you know the board. They, they let really they let that CEO go and put somebody else's ahead. Now he comes in more of a people person, more of a bring the people together, and he start implementing incentives for this, for that, and stuff. And if the, the end of the year we reach optimum level with things looking good in the company, everybody get a three percent increase or three percent um, check cut to yourself or whatever your salary is. You know, you bring those plays in the game, then you start saying, okay, you know what? I don't you know, listen. They, they've been treating us this way, but now, and yeah, this guy come in making it happen for us. So all I remember is this guy right there. So now he come in and just so happen he doing what he do, and the boys say they don't like him. They let him go because they think he was doing too much. They let him go. Then they bring somebody else in who stopped doing what he was doing, and now the people start going back to in the slump, living more check to check than they was living. What you think the people going to do now? They gonna refer, oh, 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 man, yo, we need somebody back. We need this back. We need that back. And don't let them have a union. You know what I'm saying? In this fight, they starting to fight, starting to rebel, starting, you know what I'm saying, strike and stuff like that. Now, he got to get out of there, so now they got to replace him with the next person that's going to do what the people want to do, that's going to bring those, you know what I mean, those, implement those proposals and the things that the people want. Now they got to bring that person in. Now he come back in and he giving those incentives and those bonuses at the end of the year. So, you know, sometimes it's just about that. That's all that people remember is that because all at the end of the day, as we start, we don't learn. 
If you're in this society, at the end of the day, it don't really matter who's in office. It's about you and your family, and as long as you doing good and you making it happen, you surviving. Because no matter anything, who's in there, you see what happened. You know what I'm saying? They was in there. The, the, the economy went up. If you wasn't out here hustling and making it, making a living for yourself, you was you was twisted. You was you was struggling. You was complaining. You live ah ah. But if you was out here living your life and doing your one two hustling, got your job, got your side hustle, got your little other little hustles. You doing this, you doing that. You running around ah ah. So they they was in office. You really ain't miss a beat. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't a situation whereas you missed a beat. You know what I mean? You really didn't miss a beat. You was more on the time of like, yo, let's go. All right, they doing what they doing. It's all good. Ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, cool. Whatever he doing, let me just make sure I watch out the policies he's doing to, to see, make sure I can get around this or get around that. But as far as everyday living and surviving, I ain't got no worries. I ain't having, I mean, ain't no worries about that. But that's what people living at. Because that's what you think about, how you wake up every day and what you going through you ain't gonna wake up to do yo you know what oh man you know word they right trump got convicted for all them charges man you know what he should be president yeah trump he said this and he said that, that he said that you know what yeah that's gonna bother me for the day that's really trump he said this down the da, da, da. That's going now his ways and actions will bother you now. If he wake up and he's saying this and he doing that, but then you look at the news, he going a whole top of total opposite way of what he was saying. You like, whoa now. Now you got something to say. Now you got some 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 lady sound like, yo, come on, player. You, you you said this, you said that. It ain't for, you ain't coming through with your promises. What's up? Let's go. Now we got something to talk about. But um, I mean, you know. From what I'm understanding, Aaron, this the last four years with the Biden administration, administration, it wasn't really, they wasn't really sticking to the plan and sticking to the rules that, to the point where as gas prices is up, you know what I mean? I know that, you know, I'm driving, you know what I mean? You know, food, grocery prices is up. You know, you go in there, you see, and this, you know, people used to come out of the joint, which you used to see people, when, when Trump was there, people was coming out there with two shopping carts. Now you see people coming out there with a half a shopping cart. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like you seeing that and me going and seeing that is like, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's like things have changed. You can see the economy change. So people just want change. That's all it's about. People just want change. And, you know, and this is what it is. And now in this hour, we got the the vote. It's in our hands, right? So people going to vote. And as you see, it wasn't just no whites. Everybody voted for him. He done took Georgia. He done took over Georgia, Pennsylvania. North Carolina, they took it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't take it. And you know what's so crazy is, I, it ain't even like they 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 probably are Republicans. They not. They probably they didn't they ain't registered as Republicans. They probably not registered as Democrats. They probably you know what I'm saying liberals. They you know what I mean you know what I mean conservative whatever. They probably just just want what's better policies. Who's who's talking the best policies coming out of that? Whichever candidate's mouth. You ain't, you ain't got to be Democrat or Republican. That's how it's starting to be right now. You ain't got to be Democrat or be Republican right now. It's all about who's talking the best policies that fit my life, my day in life, or where I'm at in my circumference, in my area, no matter where I'm at. You know, in this, in this United States, wherever I'm at, Arizona, Kansas, you know, Georgia, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, New York, Pennsylvania, you know what I'm saying? Florida, no matter where I'm living at, Whichever candidate is talking the best, that's what I'm going with. That's what it's starting to become. They need to just start forgetting saying who's Democrat and Republican now. They might as well forget that. Because you have a Republican get up there talking policies that, are dem that, that me as a Democrat would say, yo, yeah, I like that. That's what I need in my life. You know what I'm saying? Whereas then you start the Democrat, he's saying something that, you know, I'm a Democrat, but I'm like, yo, hold on, player. Nah, you shouldn't allow that. You shouldn't let that go down. Now, I don't like that. But, you know what I'm saying? You see that now? The conflict of what you're saying and then what you're saying, I'm agree with you, but I'm not a registered with your crew, but I don't agree with you, but I'm registered with you. So now, without, I'm in a conflict now as a person. So now, as people now, we all got the right to vote. We all got, you know what I mean? It's our right. We earned it. Our ancestors fought for this. So 
Now it's just about for us as a person now to sit down and look at each person and see their policies and see what they stand on. Okay, these are your policies that you stand on. Now let me see what you talk about and how you relate it to the people. How I'm showing, how you're going to show and prove to me and the people that's out here that you're really going to stand on what you're saying. That's what it started. It kind of came down to, too, with kind of this fight between these two. You know what I mean? You, you got too many interviews with Kamala. She's saying her policies and being hardcore stuck on it. You know what I mean? Like, this is what it is. Uh, 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 forget Trump. I don't care what he did. I ain't worried about Trump. Because when I get in there, it ain't going to be about him. It's going to be about the people when I get in there. So, yeah, I may give you two, three minutes of a Trump, whatever. But for this next, if I'm doing an hour interview, this next 57 minutes, 55 minutes, it's about, you know what I'm saying? About me and his policies and me talking about how I'm going to make America great, better, or whatever he's saying, or make a me do out whatever her slogan was. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's supposed to have been about. But now the time, most of her, the conversations in the interview was basically Trump bashing, Trump bashing, Trump bashing. And then when you did talk about your policies, it went to a whole nother left side. Just, you know, I watched them and stuff. And it was like, I was feeling kind of crazy. We're like, come on, tell them something. Tell them, let them know. Don't have us have to go to your website and see this and have to read it. Tell us so we can get it from your mouth. Because when we read it, it could have been one of your people who wrote that. And you could just, you know, be saying, yo, go check my website. But I'm going to tell you a story that I want to tell you. But if you want me to know what I, my policies really are, I'll go check my website. Nah, you know, give us some 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 concrete. But, you know, it was what it was. You know, can't be mad. You know what I'm saying? Take your win. You know, take your L's with your wins and stuff. Especially on this type of time. Especially if you're out here doing what you got to do. So just make sure, you know what I mean, dudes out there, don't be out there sad. The Democrats will be sad. Listen, it was what it was. Your um, candidate didn't win. So now it's just about how you getting out here and just use this candidate and his policies for the best of yourself. Don't be listening to all the people, the Republicans that saying, oh, all the people that's just riding Trump. Yeah, we we won. We Okay, because if y'all would have lost, it would have it been a whole nother day. It would have been a whole nother situation. It would have been pandemonium. It would have been, yo. The internet would have been going crazy. Trump wouldn't have conceded. Um, 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 the same thing Kamala doing right now. Not even going to the, trying to talk and, you know, talk and concede and talk to people and tell the people and get the people like, okay, it was what it was. I lost and move on. It had been worse for Trump. Y'all know that. So let's be real. You know, so I just don't say that. I'm an equal opportunist. I'm not on this side or that side. I see what's right. I'm a right. You know what I mean? I don't care, you know, who's, who's what's what. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if my brother did it or a friend did it. Whoever, who, I'm going to tell you who's right or wrong. I don't care. That's what it is with me. People know that about me. So I just feel like, you know, if I see it, like, yo, come on. You know, you do that, you do that. But for all y'all out there, y'all know if y'all have Trump with a loss, y'all wouldn't have gave up. Y'all have said they cheated. It was rigged. Uh -huh. Just like some of the people over here trying to say, but they can't say. So they pushing it out. But it was what it was. It was a fair election. It was money. It was good. You know, everybody voted. And you know, this time the third ain't nobody. Because all through the night, everybody was saying it was good. Every state they was checking in was saying it was good. Ain't nobody saying Trump called them or Kamala called and was trying to threaten and talk. To it was all good. So it was, it was what it was on this one. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, so Trump's in office. Trump going to do his one, too. Just please out there, y'all out there, just take advantage of this time, man. This is a good time. It might be a good money time for y'all. You know, doing y'all one, two out here, building y'all equity and on yourself. You know, house, listen, I just told y'all, go on the stocks, go buy some stock, become a day trader right now and do what you do. Go take a $1,000, throw it around in a couple places. Let it sit for the day. Ah, you know what I mean? Take it out, ah, ah, to do the next thing the next day. Or just sit in there and let it dance. Let it dance. That's what I do. I just let it sit in there and let it dance because it's for the kids. It's for my future. I'm not really stressing it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for me trying to jump, take money out. I just, you know, just put it in there and let it sit and just let it run. You know what I mean? But I don't know if Trump, in the next four years, if Trump get out, I think I might start taking some money out. I don't know how it's going to be looking. <laughs> it might drop after with Trump. I think the night, the, the night, the next election, if Trump lose, I think that night, I see him lose, I think I'm going to withdraw all my stocks. <laughs> Take everything out. <laughs> Word. But, um, yo, just get out there, man. Don't worry about what's going on with that election, man. Like I said, what Trump doing and some of his policies is good for the people. 
You know what I mean? Especially if you out here doing what you got to do for yourself. If you out here and you trying to depend on the government, then yeah, you might be a little twisted. But still in all, listen, even if you depend on the government, some of y'all know, when he was in office, those that did depend on the government, they got the, uh, what's that, the unemployment. Some of y'all wasn't even working. Wasn't even working at the time, but y'all went and got that unemployment. Y'all know y'all, y'all know the one, two y'all did on that one. Like dudes, some dudes came home from jail in front of like they, and got that unemployment. So that was kind of a handout when you think about it. You know what I'm saying? Even when you know with the the PP with the PPDs and PPPs and stuff, that was a handout. Let's be real. So it ain't like he didn't give a handout or he didn't help or help with Congress and the people to help out to give a handout. It did come out. He did some handouts did happen during the Trump regime on the first run. It's just that. With the Democrats, with the welfare system, with the public aid system and stuff like that, and the section, that's, you know, it's like a long time handout. So it's like, yo, look, we need to get that. But when you think about it, Trump did give out some handouts. The thing is, a lot of people didn't utilize those handouts. A lot of people did. You know what I mean? A lot of business owners, people, they, you know what I mean, know what they was doing, what they do. They, they utilized that handout. They took that money and flipped it and did they want to with it. Some people took it and brought Audis and cars and stuff, and then they got the repo because you gotta remember you ain't had no money bringing it in. So what you was doing, getting that in the first place, you gotta make sure some money coming in before you go buy something that you gotta pay some uh, finances or your lease or your finance. You know what I mean? So come on, you know what I mean? So that was one of the things that was happening there, or you know, got the insurance. But you know, but a lot of people that did get those them, them, them loans and them handouts during Trump time did do something with it. A lot of people. That did that got it didn't, and that's where they at now. That's why a lot of people that didn't, they voted for Trump this time, cause they kind of want that flip again. They gonna be they gonna be smarter on this one. They gonna be smarter, you know what I mean? They gonna be smarter, take that joint or invest it, and get their business going. I'm telling you, within the next year, you are gonna see mad more people with clothing lines, a whole more more people uh, 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 doing the uh, the rental car rental joints, getting cars and leasing them out. Getting Airbnbs, you know what I mean? Getting spots and renting them out. And listen, there's going to be some money being generated out here. You know what I'm saying? So just be in the mix. That's all you got to do. Be in the mix, man. Get your mind right. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So just live life, enjoy life, and celebrate life out there, y'all. Don't let this take you down. Don't let this distract you from your goals or what you was doing out here. What you was doing out here, just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? If you was grinding, getting your money, keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because what they doing and who's in office, it ain't going to stop what you're doing. You stop what you're doing. you going to stop what's going on in your life. So that's all that's going to happen. So make sure y'all do what y'all do out there, man. And, yo, there's going to be a lot of commentary on this Trump situation, man. Trump, yo, this is a lick right now. This is a lick right now. I'm not going to lie. For all y'all dudes that's out there, YouTube, YouTube is a new street. Y'all know that, right? Come on, those who don't know, know. YouTube is the new streets, and y'all know how it go. You know what I mean? Back in the days, you know, let's just take it back. Y'all see the gray hair, you know what I mean? I'm going to do my one-two with it. I might bring it black so I can, you know, keep the full hair. You see it's full. It's just, you know what I'm saying, gray. But, you know, so you know I'm OG. I'm, old, I'm 46 years old, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But, you know, it's a lot of stress from the you know, penitentiary, fridge and cell to living well, you know what I mean? But it's all good. But so, but y'all know the history. Y'all know I got a little history. But um, dudes used to be on the block back in the days. Everybody know do the one too. Everybody know from the hood knew about the butter love. You know what I'm saying? You got that butter love. You go get the butter love from the butter love. You know what I mean? So you get that butter love back in the days. That butter love was that. You know what I mean? The crack. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know, butter love man. He had the crack. You know what I'm saying? He had the good. That was the butter love. That's why we called it butter love. It was good. It was the best, the best joint in the hood. Right? So, you had him out there doing his one-two, but you also had other people, you know what I'm saying, doing their one-two, doing their thing, as being the man, the, the bricker man, the Joe Bricker man, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying, being that dude, uh-uh, they holding it down. But now, but the love is out there. If he's good, he's good, right? So, this is where we at. If everybody is out there doing their one-two, and YouTube is the streets, you're trying to eat, but a love got to come with a new product on the block. You don't care if homie on homie homie on uh, uh 
on what's the I'm in Brooklyn. Homie on St. John's in Buffalo got the same butter love that homie on St. John's and Troy got. They don't care that homie from Albany Projects got the same butter love that the homie from Smurf Village got. They don't care about you wanna know why? Because the butter love is butter love. It's gonna get off. It's gonna sell. It's gonna pop. It's good no matter what. So that's what Trump is right now. Trump is butter love. Trump is that butter love right now for the YouTube people. Because we all know YouTube is a new streets, right? Everybody get money off the street. Try to sell a sling, they little thing, and then they're selling sling and what? They content. Everybody selling sling and they content. So if everybody trying to sell a sling they content, the newest content or whatever content they got, they trying to sell their butter love. So now here go the butter love of Trump. Trump is the top the top you can't get no better than this right now because you go anywhere right now you're getting views you're getting looks you put trump in the joint trump this trump that you're gonna eat right now so trump is that butter love so guess what abc at fox cbs joe rogan the tandem report uh uh uh, 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 uh what's your, your girl candace all of them don't pete pete was p uh pbd but oh at network all of them don't care right now who's eating off the off the Trump butter love because they're going to eat people going to view it, people going to come see it they want to see what's going on, they're going to view it that's just like the butter love in the street, people don't care who got over there I'm going to go over here, I can go over here and get that butter love I'm going to go over here and get that butter love I'm going to get butter love because I'm going to get high off of it they're going to get high off of that Trump that's all it's about, getting righteous off of that Trump you know what I'm saying, so that's what Trump is right now, YouTube is the streets and if you got that Something you slinging, dirty. If you slinging in the dirty content, the dirty section, you slinging uh, 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 the political section, you slinging in the um, the gossip section, you slinging in the uh, 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 what's the with the the hip hop entertainment section. No matter where you slinging at, you know what I mean. You see academics, he's slinging that hip hop entertainment. He's slinging that. He the man over there. He go get his. He go get his work from here, from there, here, there, there. He out there slinging it. You know what I'm saying? That's all this YouTube joins about. Go get your work from no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your work is your content now. Your work is your content. Go get your content from here, from there, from there, from there. You get it? Bring it home. Just chop it up, screw it, because you got to edit it up and 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 and. and and do the speed up and, and do it. Your copy, you know what I mean? Put your little logos and your thumbnails and stuff. Ah, 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 you do your one too. Then you put it on YouTube. You put it on the street. See how it sell. See if I get a lick off that. Let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, that one caught. Well, that one ain't catch. All right, let me mix up this next. That's all it's about now. YouTube is in the streets. And people out here stuff doing they want to. Because you see the gangster, most gangsters people on the streets on YouTube now, right? Telling their stories. You know, they gangster, how they did this, they did that, and shot, and do 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 uh, uh, uh. Arguing, beefing with each other on there. Giving you that entertainment, that content. So, you know, YouTube in the streets. And right now, if you're watching, if you want that money, another lick. You know what I'm saying? I was just hollering at, I, I'm, I'm telling y'all that, I was just hollering at the team. Get some of that butter love, that, that Trump lick. You know what I'm Y'all know? You're going to get some of that butter love Trump lick. See, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get some of that butter love, you know what I mean? But y'all know me, I just like dropping a little content just that's real, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I see it, I'm like, ah, I respect it, but yo, I let people know, yo, this is crazy. But also, make sure you get your finances right, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about who's in office, you know what I'm saying? But just remember, y'all stay up, do y'all thing, man. Just make sure y'all get some of that butter love, you know what I mean? That Trump, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever butter love you got. Because, you know what I mean, everything's sling these days. You got the gossip. People do the gossip. The Jason Lees of the world. You know, all them type of cats. The Charlemagne's and all them. The Joe but You know, everybody got they lit. They butter love. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got they crack. They, you know what I mean? They little work. Put it that way. They work they put out there on the YouTube. They work meaning they content. You know what I'm saying? That butter love me and that content. That's all it's about now. Because dudes ain't doing none of that no more. Because look what they at now on YouTube. On the, on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Creating their own channels and stuff. So that's what it's about, man. So just get out there. Do y'all want to get that work out there. Get this money. as many ways to get it now. You see, Trump just came in the office. It's too late. And you get some of that stocks. Flip, flip. Be a day trader or something. Get to them one-twos on that. Or get on this YouTube and just talk about Trump.
But be be correct though. Don't just talk craziness just because you want to talk. Be correct. Come with some facts. Be real. You know what I mean? And just do your thing and stuff. You know what I mean? For me, I like to be unbiased. If he do something wrong or right, you highlight it. You do something wrong, you highlight it too. And the other side, if they do something wrong, you highlight it. If they don't, you know what I mean? Go from there. Don't be biased and when he do something right, you just highlight it. But when we do something wrong, you cry. Like, well, you know, you know. But remember the last regime, the last regime. Did don't do that. Don't do that. Just be real. Just keep it honest. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, that was messed up what he did. And uh, uh, he shouldn't have did that. Boom, 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 boom. I uh, uh, talk to him like, you know what I mean? But nowadays, we can't talk to him privately. So online. Talk to the people. Let them know, yeah, I don't agree with that play he did or that movie did. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. But the other stuff he doing... What could I be mad at? I'm here. He's on the team. He's fighting for us still. So let's see his next move. Let's see his next play. Let's see if he correct what he did. You know, that's all it's about. You know what I mean? So y'all know what it is, man. Do y'all want somebody to get back in the crib? You know what I, mean? I mean, I just came from the gym. About to get in the crib. Go take the shower. You know what I'm saying? Do my one, two. I don't know. Let's see, man. Like, you know what I mean? Bring, bring it back. Bring that young look. Bring that young look to the people. Now, is that Teeth fight? Yeah. I said, I don't care. Teeth right. Some dudes, teeth ain't right out there. Dudes out here. Yeah. Got to keep it right. Go to that dentist. Health as well. Oh, man. Listen, trip it off. Who knows? Health coverage might even go down. You know what I'm saying? All that was going up. Because, you know, people's living check to check while I'm here on the street. Listen. Listen. I, hey, listen. I'm not for who, who. I'm just right for my pockets. And hopefully you right for your pockets. You're looking into your pockets. Take care of your situation. Ain't about... Trump, come on, it's about policies coming together and making sure the American people is good at the end of the day. You know what I mean? That's all it's about. All right, y'all. Stay up, man. Catch y'all later, man. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to Session TV. T-H-A, Session TV. Gonna be dropping some of this content soon. Some more, more, more content. Y'all know how we do. All right, y'all. <laughs>